hello hello everyone hello guys how are you guys on today guess what time it is it is story time with miss doris i have an awesome awesome story for us on today well guess what today is wednesday and on wednesday we read our christian book so on wednesday we read our christian book and <clears throat> so the book we're reading is the children's bible we are reading the children's bible read and learn stories from the old and the new testament in the children's bible so on wednesdays are our christian days for our children hello shikana hello shikavia how are you on today so today are our christian days i'm gonna go ahead on and get started i would like to greet everyone all over the world i would like to say hello good morning good afternoon good evening and to some good night someone is going to bed somewhere in the world but guess what you are just in time for story time with miss doris today's story we are going to be reading out of our children's bible it's going to be the story of Babel, the story, the story, excuse me, of Babel. And this is in the book of Genesis, Genesis in our Bible, chapter 11, Genesis chapter 11 in our children's Bible, the Tower of Babel, Genesis chapter 11 and which is going to be our story for today. It's going to be a rather short story, but it's okay. We're going to elaborate a little. And guess what? Well, today's letter, we are learning today's letter. Today's letter is going to be the letter G. Today's letter is the letter G. We have the capital G and we have the small G. So we have the mama G and the baby G letter G and small G. Well, guess what? G stands for goat. The letter G stands for goat. This is a picture of the goat and this is the word goat. G-O-A-T, goat. The picture goat and this is the word. There's our letter, what we're doing for today. Today's letter, remember, is the letter G. Today's letter is the letter G. I know you guys going to remember this letter. And well, guess what? Yesterday's letter was the letter F. Yesterday's letter was the letter F. We have the capital F and the small F. And the letter F stands for, this is a picture of a feather. The letter F stands for feather. This is our le F is the letter, yesterday's letter, and this is the word feather. Well, guess what? Let's go head on and get ready for that story time song. I know you guys are ready. I hear that song. Remember, when we're doing that song, make sure you're practicing safety first. Story time. It's story time. It's story time, guys. And I have an awesome story for us on today. Story time with Miss Sherry to you. Sing to you. Tell you all just what to do. Hello, Poopas. Hello, Sir Mario. Hello, Sir Rob. Hello, Harmony. Hello, Tanelia. Hello, So So. Hello, Royce. How are you on today? Hello, Boss. Hello, Seppi. I missed you guys. Hello, little Greg, Lakeisha, PLCC family. How are you on today? Hello, Apostle Forrest. Hello, Apostle Forrest. I thank you for appreciating all the story time videos. To all of you guys that comment on our videos, story time videos, and our story time TikTok channel, I appreciate all of you guys you guys are awesome so well guess what let's go ahead on and get ready for that story so go ahead on have a seat while miss doris read you a story on today i appreciate all of you guys hello miss nisha hello miss ebony how are you hello bj hello mr beal hello mr beal 
I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. Hello, artists. I hope you're having an awesome day as well. Hello, Tony. Hello, TM. Hello, TM. I missed you, TM. But guess what? It's all good. God is good. So to all of you out there in Storytime Land, Pastor Rose Ganston, hello. How are you? I appreciate you on today. I appreciate all of you guys. You are awesome. Let's get started with our story for our children on today. Today's story we're going to be reading is The Tower of Babel. And this is coming out of Genesis chapter 11 out of our children's Bible. It was a long time after the great flood. There were more people on earth than ever before. They were like a big, big, huge family. They all spoke the same language. The people went east to the land of Babylon. They had an idea. Let's make a city here. In the city, we will build a tower that will go up to heaven. We will do it all by ourselves. Wow, they're building a tower to heaven all by themselves with no help. Hmm, something's going to be wrong. They had no idea. Let's make a city. In the city, we will build a tower that will go up to heaven, like they said. The people used bricks and tar. Every day their tower grew taller and taller. Babylon was a city. <clears throat> Babylon was an ancient city which was located in the country called Iraq. The name of the city means great way of the gods. Wow. So they're building this wall, this tower going up to heaven. And guess what? They think they're doing it all by themselves. Well, let's see what it's going to what's going to entail. God came down to see the city and the tower the people were building. It was a grand tower, but something was wrong. The people were working only for themselves. God had to show them that they would always need his help to succeed. God had to show them something. So God gave every person a different language. Now, instead of one word, there were hundreds and hundreds of different ways to say one word, to say the same thing. No one could understand anyone else. The people could not work together anymore. They stopped building the city. The big family split apart and the people settled in different parts of the earth. There they go. There's the tower they were building. But guess what? God was not pleased. So, let's see what else happened. They have built the tower and stood alone on the empty land. It became as the Tower of Babel. Babylon was the place where God mixed up the language of the people on earth. The Tower of Babel. The word Babel means comes from the Hebrew word for confuse. In English, Babel means to take, to talk too much, or to make meaningless sounds. Well, guess what, guys? The essence of this story on today, coming from Genesis chapter 11, the Tower of Babel. So they decided that they were going to build a tower. And guess what? They decided once building this tower that they're not going to need anyone's help. But guess what? We all need help because God let them know that while they were building this tower of Babel over in Babylon, you will need my help. In other words, we cannot do nothing without God. Without God, we are nothing, and we can't do anything without God. That's why when we pray to God, we believe and we have faith. So if Miss Storytime wanted to do something on her own, so I say, well, I'm just going to go to bed and I'm going to wake up on my own. But guess what? I can't wake up on my own because God gives life and he takes life. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to believe <clears throat> That when I wake up the next day, when we wake up the next day, guess what? 
I'm grateful for that day, a brand new day that I've never seen before. So God is letting us know in Genesis chapter 11, God, you think you can do everything on your own, or we may think that we don't need God's help. Guess what? God showed them here in chapter 11 that you can't succeed without me. So here it says, God had to show them that they would always need God's help. So what did God do? God confused them. God did something what we, you would imagine that he would have done. So he confused them and he did different languages. <clears throat> so if everyone speaks to, at, at first they were all speaking the same language, so they understood everyone. So God confused them because they were selfish and they were in self. And God doesn't want us to be in self. God wants you as children or we as adults to believe in him because guess what? Without God, we are nothing. So God confused them. Even though they all spoke the same language, starting off, God put several hundreds of languages in the land. So once he did that, they couldn't understand each one. Everyone couldn't understand each other. So guess what? The tower then, as it says here in our story, they couldn't work together anymore because God had confused their minds. He put another language. So if I'm speaking French, and French we say bonjour, in Spanish you say hola, and sign language we do like this. So if God do different languages like whoa, what does that mean? So if you don't know sign language or if you didn't know French, bonjour, monsieur, comment ça va? Or if you didn't know Spanish, hola, comment estas? Guess what? God confused them. So we had several, several different hundred different languages that they were speaking and God confused them just to let us know that guess what? God is in control. God is in control. And they all split up. So that town of Babel became the place of Babylon where God mixed up the language of the people on earth so the essence of the story of today of our bible reading we can't do nothing without god so always believe that so whatever you in need of always pray to god and just ask for help because he is there without god we are nothing so i enjoyed reading you guys a story on today remember today was our christian day and we read the story of the tower of Babel over in Genesis chapter 11. You guys are awesome. You guys said so attentively today while Miss Doris read you a short story. And don't forget, today's letter was the letter G. Today's letter was the letter G. We have the capital G and the small G. And G stands for GOAT. There's the picture. And here is the word. You guys were awesome. Remember, if you're not feeling well, always, always let mom or dad know that you are not feeling well. And they will take really, really, really good care of you. And when you're out and about or playing with your favorite, favorite toy, make sure you are washing and sanitizing your hands at all times. We don't want you guys getting sick at all. I want you guys well at all times and when you're out in public it is imperative that you are still practicing safety first we are still wearing our masks we are still wearing our masks so make sure when you go out in public you're wearing your mask and don't take your mask off guys unless someone tells you to i enjoyed reading your story on today remember if you're not smiling on today I hope once you see Miss Doris's smile on today that you are smiling. Take care. God bless you all. Love you all with the love of God. God bless. Take care.